All right, guys, it's gonna be a quick video of how I anchor stitches. You can see right here, I've got a baseball stitch going and I've already anchored this about right here. I'll try to do it about every four to six inches, maybe, depending on how long the, the, the incision is and how tight my cape is. But on this last stitch, you can see, you see where I've come across right here. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and do the next stitch and I'm gonna show y'all how you can anchor it off to where your stitches won't slip and you won't have to worry about that trying to open up as you're working your way on down the neck. It'll just, it'll just stop it right there and you're basically starting over with another seam. Let's go up right here. Just like you're doing your, your standard baseball stitch. All right, now what I do is where that just came up and out of that side of the cape, I'll go back up toward the head, maybe a quarter inch and go back down through the cape. When you do this, make sure to get all your hair out of the way. Pick any of it out of that stitch that you just made so that it just lays flat on the skin, just like that. And you're gonna pull that snug. It's gonna draw that up in there. All right, well y'all can see where my last stitch was up under the bottom of this. What you'll do is you're gonna go around that stitch with your needle. And if you'll pull this tight, then go back up through the loop you just made, just like a half hitch, and pull that half hitch tight, just like that. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing again. down and just right back up through that loop. Just make sure you don't get any of this hair caught in there. It just needs to go around the stitch only. See right there, then make that knot. And now what you'll do is just continue back to the other side, come back up through this side of the cape. Back up through this side of the cape. And then you just continue doing your baseball stitch on down the back. And now it's locked right there. So that if, no matter what happens, when you do two or three stitches and pull it tight, you won't have to worry about it separating on up on the back of the head. Now guys, if this was helpful to y'all, y'all give me a thumbs up and comment down below if y'all have got any other tips or tricks that you'd like to see me uh, record on video. And uh, we'll see y'all on the next video.